putting such a whooping on Team Reed. We sent both camera guys. We sent a camera guy with Reed. We sent a camera guy with Cody. So, Team Will just decided to unite this morning. We're still gonna kill him. Team Reed, you suck. This morning, I was filming, but I brought the old bow just in case it worked. Uh, I got to work today, but we're going to sit till 9.30 and see if we can run the score up. Fingers crossed, it works out. I, they might as well quit. Clear winners. Um, two dead deer. One sit. I'll point out that we were like definitely the C team this morning. We're like the redhead stepchildren. We just went wherever. We went to where Cody hunted yesterday. Cody, what were you doing in here yesterday? Another empty handed morning. That's okay. I'm not going to let it bother me. It doesn't bother me at all that Zach got another deer and that I didn't. And that Will and Zach are up by a lot. Not a big deal at all. I'm happy. Yeah. What we got here, boys? Heck yeah. Oh no. And dose. Nice. She's bigger than Reed's. I'm the best doe hunter in the world. Team Reed has to go buy barbecue sandwiches. Me and Will, we just do backstraps every day because we actually kill stuff. I mean, these barbecue sandwiches are really good. I don't see you eating that backstrap right now. I bet they would Take a bite out of that backstrap and I'll be impressed. They can be ready in about 10 minutes if I want it to be. <laughs> you may be beating us, but if I go kill a big hog this afternoon and a doe and he does the same thing, we're back in it. Yeah, we got honey holes, you don't even know. We got like, secret spots. I'm not gonna hold my breath. We've been saving one spot. I mean, we're gonna go do it this there's afternoon. Not, there's not much we can say when it's five to one and it sound cool. <laughs> <laughs> Losing uh, 420 pounds to like what 100. So maybe this gets us on the board. <laughs> 
That was blood trailing with a bum knee. Oh, not fun. Not fun at all. And of course, the one I shoot goes off the side of a hill. Not the most ideal spot for it to run. Nobody knows. It's a broadhead. That's the broadhead right there. What we got? What we got? Oh! Thank God it wasn't a 120. So I'm back at the spot that I was on the ground the other night. One of the mature deer has been passing through here and he was in here yesterday night. Fingers crossed I can get something down before I head out to this wilderness camp. Like I always say, some days you're the dog, some days you're the fire hydrant. Today, I'm the fire hydrant. Zach says, you chose to go down this road, which means I chose to hunt bucks. That's true, I did. And I chose to hunt mature bucks. So I could have shot a three-year-old. I could have shot a two-year-old. And I am walking away empty-handed. That's part of the game. Team Reed is losing so bad that we decided we had to give them a chance to have some redemption. So we're doing an archery tournament. Uh, it was hard for me and Will to find arrows that are still good shape because we've killed so many things. This one's seen better days, but really only need one. So the rules are closest to the heart on the animals and then closest to the center dot on the blocks. And then points go to the winner, second, third, fourth. If we win, we get an additional 50 pounds. If they win, they get within 125 pounds of us, which means they could win tonight. Whoa! Oof. I think that that's pretty much center. So I think I get four points. Uh, Reed, you're awarded three points. Dang, they're like exactly the same. We'll both give you Cody's both. We'll give you both two closer. points. Forty-four yards to the elk, and you must shoot from the flippy floppy. Let's go! Cody with the money shot! Put some on that. That's four points for Cody. That's uh, <laughs> definitely one point for me again. Three points. Let's go. I'm gonna lift every single time. Two points. For the final target, we have a Glendale buck at 35 yards, but you can't really see it because you gotta shoot between two trees that are about, there's a gap this big. Uh, so you're either gonna hit it or you're gonna lose your arrow. Uh, to add one more thing, <coughs> Cody, what is your least favorite song in the whole world like what do you hate more than anything like one song that just drives you crazy mm. I, don't, I don't like the oompa loompa song yeah sure let's do the oompa loompa fire up the oompa loompas how you spell oompa loompa willy wonka oompa loompa do <laughs> i have another puzzle for you oompa loompa oompa dee dee if you are wise you'll listen to me you're shaking the whole floor you <laughs> Well, Cody operates well under pressure. <laughs> Let's go. I was having, I'm a musician, so I was having to time between your steps. And then I was like, oh, you about to step. We have to do some mathematics real quick. I only have 13 points. 
I have 11. This is 8. 24. 24. I have 13. You have 12. I have 12. Whatever. Ah, ha, fool. Maybe Maybe this try to pull a quick one. All right, boys. Y'all are in it tonight. See, this it's is a basic. What, what I've gathered is in a game of luck, y'all can win. In a game of skill, yeah. Team Reed every time. Turkey season, cat and mouse, and hey. So Will and Zach wanted to do a little bow shooting competition earlier. They got cocky. They said if we win, we were only one deer behind. So we won, obviously. So there's a good chance we run away with this somehow or another. Team Reed on top forever. The clock's ticking. Whoa, I came down to the last second. Where did he go? He almost ran right on. He held to put another arrow in. He we got said, down and left the stand and walked 600 yards, snuck up on a hog, and last 10 minutes left of daylight, shot it in the face. Now we got to find it. So we'll see. There's still hope. Hearsay. <laughs> we just got to find it because I don't want to go on the Nashville Palace stage again. In front of all those people. No, we have to. We have to. And that we lost. Yeah, no, we won. This isn't just going on show. Oh, technicalities. We won. We gotta go find it. We've left Alabama deer camp, but we have not left the boys. The Shackleford boys have followed us all the way up here. Apparently, Cody Hibbert's here too. If you guys remember, this is the National Palace. This is where we've been doing some shows lately. And the Shackleford boys are playing tonight with Grace Lear and Troy Kemp from Australia. We're also going to be announcing the winner of the Does and Bows competition. So keep watching because you might be surprised at who actually takes home the trophy. The star on top of the tree, the bow on top of the gift. It's friends and family that make Christmas what it is. It's the laughter and love all you need to believe. And the rest is just the star on top of the tree. It's that soundtrack, fix the drink and we back. Yeah, tequila, whiskey, glasses, and beer never broke my heart. How we roll and rock to body like a back road. In my blue Tacoma and I can boost just like that. This is our soundtrack here. Yeah. No, I wouldn't ride it up any other way. My H-O-M-E is up on the stage. Let the whole world know I got country in my veins. We did a Doze and Bows deer camp and the premise was that we were hunting for meat and filling the freezer. So Zach and Will won. And we did does and pigs, as well as an archery tournament. These two boys won. The loser has to go in the back room and fight here in a minute. So, Reed, you're up. I'll, I'll take it. But but they don't want to talk about turkey season. I need to let everybody in here know that my team won in turkey season, and nobody wants to bring that up. We didn't have a little event for that. Yeah. That's also, not fair. We also had a bow shooting contest. Who won that? Yeah. Oh, me and Cody. That's right. In the back room where we had the show, they have armored mixed martial arts, and it sounds pretty rowdy, so I think we should probably check that out before we go home. 